Hey babes, welcome or welcome back. I hope you all are feeling amazing. So in today's video, I wanted to share just some of my new, um, I guess, kitchen decor, kind of like organization things I got. Um, I got some new storage containers that I want to share with you all from Caraway. Y'all know we love some Caraway. So I'm also going to be sharing with y'all that. I picked up a new... Um, utensil holder aka planter <laughs> that I wanted to switch out it was on sale and y'all know we love a good sale so I got that I want to switch out um my old planter aka utensil holder into this newer one um, I'm going to be doing that and just sharing just some new things that I have around the house I also have my office back bittersweet um y'all know my daughter and my grandson was staying in the extra room and they are gone now but I do have my office back, so I'm going to share with you all like my decor plans and what I have in there um, as of right now. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Let me show y'all um, this Caraway, okay? Caraway's best selling premium line of food storage is now available a la carte. So you can look forward to leftovers with Caraway's food storage collection, previously offered exclusively as a set and now sold individually as the large, medium, small containers and the dot and dash inserts. These easy to store non-toxic ceramic coated glass containers are guaranteed to keep your food extra fresh and organized. So you can shop these containers and purchase them separately and discover the benefits of the ceramic coated kitchenware for the first time and then just build your non-toxic kitchen piece by piece. Storage containers will be able to go from the fridge to the oven or even the microwave and y'all it's getting warm outside so you can even use them for the for those family cookouts or picnics. Love that the storage containers are also dishwasher safe so you can just place them babies right in the dishwasher and they also offer like a variety of different colors one to match you know every kitchen aesthetic I chose as you can see like a few different colors I have the cream set I got my caraway kettle over there my pots are gray so I got the gray set and then just for a little extra sizzle I added in that mint green I just love that color so you gotta mix and match on which colors you want to add in for your kitchen if you're interested in and building your food storage collection with Caraway, I will have a link below in the in the description box as well as a discount code. So go ahead and check them out. I decided to switch out my utensil holder. Um, I got this planter from Target about a few years back. It's like a um, white ceramic um, planter. I think I'm just going to actually maybe place it outside or something. Shopping through Marshalls and I found this baby here. It was $8 which I thought was a really good price. It's like a little crack on the inside. Um, nothing that's too major but you know I decided to purchase it because I wasn't going to use it for a planter. Washed it out and I thought this was really nice. It offers a little bit of texture and it also is a little bigger to place all of my utensils in. Picked up these oil dispenser bottles from Amazon. I thought they were just the cutest oil dispenser bottles just to add a little extra razzle to your kitchen. So I had purchased some new spice jars. So these are the ones that I had already. Actually the ones that I just got look just like these. But I was kind of like put off with these one. I just wanted like a more modern kind of um, label. And I didn't like the fact that these didn't have the little shaker caps or whatever that you call them so and plus i was over them <laughs> so i just wanted to get some more and i thought these were a little better these are the new ones i think these came in um what 24 yeah so 24 so i'm gonna kind of just um you know reorganize my spice drawer i had them up in the cabinet but i think i'm going to make a spice drawer i did actually get um dang, i did i did get one let me hold on one second i did get what is it oh yeah 
Yo, I be like low key hot and stuff for my husband sometimes because I don't want him to know that we, um, you know, we get any stuff. <laughs> but actually, I just took it away because it had came a day earlier than the spice jars, and I didn't need to um, actually have them out. Drawer expander, so you can like put them in the drawer and kind of like have the spice racks um, placed up on that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, kind of like organize a spice drawer, you know, because we gotta have a cute spice drawer or whatever. And I just feel like springtime, you know, it's good for like just reorganizing kind of like out with the old, if it's super old though, you know, you don't need to like replace um, things every season. Out with the old and with the new. I want to so bad y'all. I want to redo my freaking pantry. So if y'all saw my linen closet, um, I guess refresh, I got like the uh, full wooden shelves. To go inside of there and that's really small so um that was easy to do i really don't want to put those shelves in the pantry i want to actually have like a whole new pantry like some people come in take out those racks put in some new shelves i want to do like the whole big shebang but you know of course that'll take some time so i'm actually thinking about maybe um getting those full wooden shelves and maybe putting them in there because i hate i freaking hate like hate is a strong word I hate those racks. Y'all know what I'm saying though, right? So yeah, so I want to do that. And then I actually sold on Facebook Marketplace my old flour and sugar containers. So that's what I do. Like, so when I get over, because I'm always over something, when I get like tired of having like something, I will just like place it up on Facebook Marketplace and kind of like use that money to go ahead and just replace, you know, the whatever I just sold. So that's what I did. I'm just trying to really look for like how I want to do um this the flour and sugar cabinets i don't know if i want to put in the cabinet or the pantry i'm just so indecisive on that so that's where i'm going you know with that um reorganization but these spice jars come with these labels and i think they look a little better than the ones that i had again super similar nothing too different um, i was thinking about getting the black labels and hold on i think they come no, they didn't come with the black labels. Okay. I should have got the black labels, but I mean, the white ones were fine too. And this is how they will come. If you wanted to put, I guess, some labels on the tops, I guess, they come with little circle ones too. Or if you just wanted to put the circle ones right here, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these out. They kind of stink. <laughs> I'm like joking, trying to talk. But I'm going to wash these out. I guess it's like the paper. I'm going to wash these out and kind of like um, put those in the drawer. I'm actually going to do a reel as well. So I'm going to show you how that turned out. This is how the spice drawer came out. I thought it came out really nice. Y'all, it took me forever to wash, dry, and then like transfer all of the spices into the new jars. It took forever, but I love the way it turned out. So last video, I showed y'all my new dining chairs or whatever. Let me go ahead and like sit down on these babies so y'all can see how comfortable they are. I love that they are rolly so um, you can kind of like sit. But I don't like having them roll <laughs> because I feel like, like when I go and sit down, right? Y'all look, that's the only thing that I don't like. But I don't know if you can get like some... Um, like stoppers i don't know but like if i'm sitting down like they are super rolly and my floors are super slippery so when i go and sit down i feel like i'm like uh. <laughs> but other than that they are super super comfortable i love them i love them y'all know how freaking much i was needing and wanting some new dining chairs and i wanted to get ones that was still going to kind of like go with the table for some reason this i, I don't even know who, why did they put this in there but i did i never liked this but i did like this set and i was actually thinking about maybe placing 
like something in here. I don't know what and I don't know how I would do it. I'm not really that DIY savvy. I was thinking about maybe placing something in here just to kind of cover that up. But other than that, I just love it. I love the table. The chairs, like I said, they match so, so well. I've been getting, y'all know I've been getting like weekly flowers or whatever. So these are my flowers for the week. Some hydrangeas, y'all. These are so, so freaking cute. I love these. My second hydrangeas. I did some like two weeks ago and then I just purchased some last week. These. And I love them, right? So did y'all know hydrangeas actually prefer warm water? Who knew? So the first ones I put cold water in and they kind of like wilted. But I did place um, the sugar and the bleach in there. And I think this is why they are actually like still thriving. They are just so, so pretty. So I got these as an arrangement on the table. I actually think when Hobby Lobby has their flower sale, I'm going to go ahead and just get... Um, some hydrangeas, some full hydrangeas, and just have them inside this vase because I just freaking love how they look right here. Got some candles right there. I got these candles at Marshall's. They are like pretty thick. They supposed to smell like Santal. Y'all know how I feel about Santal. Um, you can't really smell nothing though. <laughs> but I love how they are, how they look. And I also picked up some baby's breath. I don't have these in water because I love how they look when they're like dry. So I just placed them in here and just placed them on there because I did have another full stem that I had in here. So I just took these out, took them out and just placed the um, baby's breath right in here. And I thought that looked really well like that. Y'all, my allergies have been acting up and I was wondering like why. It's because I got all these freaking flowers in the house. That's why. The last video, I um, shared with y'all my living room. And y'all got these um, peonies too. They are kind of opening up really good too. These look good. I think the water is, I need to change the water, but they're opening up pretty well. So I got those right there. On my last video, I did like a little walkthrough of the living room and one of y'all comment was like girl where's that tall cabinet it's right here boo i didn't change it um i didn't take it out i kind of just placed it over on this wall right here and yeah here it is this baby ain't going nowhere i freaking love this thing y'all know i got the lights in here i did change it up just a little and yeah look at that so nice so so nice i'm obsessed with this i love it y'all ain't getting rid of this thing at all and y'all know i got the matching um credenza on that side so yeah that's how everything is so far i'm about to take y'all upstairs to show y'all the office right now i didn't even take this office thing but let me take y'all upstairs to show y'all my office and like the plans that I have for that. All right, so this is um, my office. Like I said, it was the extra room that my daughter and my grandbaby was staying in while they were here. Uh, like I said, they left. They got their own place. They moved on with their life. So I got my office back. Y'all know I had this desk and this chair for a while. I had these uh, pictures up. Um, so I'm just going to keep that there. Y'all know I had this chandelier and that little pendant thing. I had these curtains. Look, I just slant, just left them on the floor. But I just got um, these curtains in. Got them from Amazon. They're like a nice khaki linen color. And I thought they were really nice. So I'm going for um, like brown and cream. I want this space to kind of be like more like boho chic y'all i want to be boho so bad too um <laughs> hence i got the nice pompous grass remember i had this in the room so i just put her in here just to kind of um you know set the tone for that kind of like brown bohemian kind of like chic vibe i also put this rug that i also had in my room which i felt like was too small and 
underneath my bed. It's a little big in here, but I think once I kind of get like a table here, I'm thinking like a small chair, not too much space um, to put like so much stuff in this room, but I think I can kind of, you know, do a little something, something with it. So that is how I was kind of looking right now. I ain't do nothing extra for y'all. I'm so sorry. I ain't spruce it up, but you know, I'm going to share with y'all my updates on it. I did find this picture, this wall art at, I don't know, Home Goods, Home Sense, one of those stores, you know, they all the same. And I just love her. I love um, abstract art. So I'm trying to decide on where I want to put her. I kind of want to place her like here if I get like a table and just kind of place it up against the table or maybe place her on the wall not sure on that yet but I also I just have so many ideas for in this room I was also thinking about getting like one of those um Ikea shelves bookshelves I guess yeah maybe the Billy bookcase I think that's what it is um and kind of place it along one of these walls or something like that not sure like i said i got so many ideas on what i want to do in here just kind of make it like a space of my own again because i've been kind of like dying for my own space like my little my own like little office workspace so i'm kind of happy that i do have that back and i was also thinking oh my gosh y'all i was thinking about getting a record player <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what y'all think. Like, I called my grandmother and was like, my mind, that's what I call her. Do you still have your record player? She's like, girl, no. Why would I still have it? I'm like, because I want it. So, I was actually thinking about placing a record player in here as well. You know, I can really just jam out and just kind of have a relaxing time in here. Um, so, yeah. So, I will, of course, update y'all you know, and take y'all along as I'm like changing and just redecorating in here. Pretty excited about that. And that's it for the updates. I will holler back at y'all sooner than later. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with your girl. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Girl, leave me some comments down below. And if you aren't already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.